Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel English Literature with Sumi. Uh, as you have seen from the title, today we are going to discuss about Shakespeare's contribution to the development of English language. So let's look at the highlights of today's video. Firstly, we'll, discuss, we'll be discussing about Shakespeare's contribution to the English language. And secondly, we will also be discussing about his contribution to the new vocabulary uh, that evolved during his time. So let's get started. So before we move on to the actual topic of our discussion, which is Shakespeare's contribution, we need to look at English as a language. How was English doing during that time? So in Shakespeare's time, English was a more flexible language. Flexible in the terms that there was no fixed rules and regulations of how you can speak and how you can write English. So grammar and spelling were not yet completely formalized and English it replaced Latin as the language of serious intellectual in England so before English Latin was dominating the area of literature but after English came into the scene uh, it began to replace Latin in most of the now let us look at what did Shakespeare actually do now we all know Shakespeare for his great works that for his great plays like Hamlet Othello and all other plays right but Shakespeare was freed of conventions and rules of modern English. So he could shape vocabulary to the demands of his style. So whatever the styles of his plays demanded, he used to use those words and vocabulary. So how did he use it? He used nouns as adjectives or verbs, adjectives as adverbs and pronouns as nouns. So he made each of his characters singular by a distinctive set of speech. If you have gone through, I hope all of me, most of you have gone through the plays of Shakespeare, at least one of his plays, like Hamlet or Tello or any of his famous plays. Then if you just pick up one of his characters and if you look at the dialogues or the vocabulary that his characters use, you will find what this line mean, meant, that he made each of his characters singular by a distinctive set of speech. Each of his characters, each of Shakespeare's characters are distinctive from the other characters by their set of speech. They are unique with their dialogues. Now, uh, let us see how the language was expanding during that time. So, almost 30,000 new words were added to the English language between the age uh, or years 1500 and 1659. So Shakespeare had about 23,000 different words which appeared firstly in his plays and poetry. So these words first appeared in his uh, plays and mostly in his poetry. The Renaissance also added many new words to the language uh, borrowed from Latin and other European languages. Now I hope you all know the meaning of the word Renaissance, new revival of the language. And I'll be making a dedicated video about the Renaissance age also, what kind of developments uh, this age particularly sh has sh uh, shown uh, during its time. But for now, you just need to know that it's the new revival of the language. And um, new words were coming from all kinds of la other languages, European languages like Latin, French and other languages as well. If we look into Shakespeare's contribution to the language, uh, so his plays, uh, which became popular in the 17th and 18th century, it helped to contribute to the standardization of the language. We have already discussed that during Shakespeare's time, the English language was not yet formalized. The rules and regulations of grammar were not there. Then it was not; it has not yet reached the heights of standard standardization. But after Shakespeare started writing his plays, people started reading his plays, it became a standardized language. Even Johnson's A Dictionary of the English Language, which we will be discussing in our maybe in our next video, uh, quoted Shakespeare more than any other writers. Okay, um, Because uh, Shakespeare was one such person in that age or in that uh, period uh, who evolved his plays with new words new vocabulary his characterizations were deep with dialogues and those dialogues were very uh, real raw and real in their use of the words that they use in their vocabulary right so shakespeare also introduced new words and phrases and experimented with blank verse now what were his contribution to the new vocabulary 
It was said that in all of his work, Shakespeare uses 17,667 words, out of which 1,700 were first used by Shakespeare. That means he has created those words. Remember the methods? Now let us look at the methods. He created those words by changing nouns into verbs, verbs into adjectives, connecting words, adding prefixes and suffixes, etc. So these were few of his methods of how he used to create new words for the dialogues of his characters in his plays, right? So some of these include seen better days, then strange bedfellows, full circle, etc. So, language has drastically changed from his time as we have studied till now. But many phrases, common expressions, proverbs that are familiar enough today uh, have their origin in Shakespeare's works or are popularized by him. That means the common phrases that we use in our daily conversations with our friends, with our family members or with anyone in this world. Those phrases were actually originated from Shakespeare's plays. He experimented with words and he created this new vocabulary with different kinds of new phrases, common expressions and proverbs. So we will look at this now. So some of this are, here are a few examples, all that glitters is not gold. This is taken from the play Macbeth. All's well that ends well, the title of the play as we all know. Bag and baggage, this is taken from as you like it. Then break the ice, that is the taming of the shoe. Brevity is the soul of wit, uh, this is taken from Hamlet. Now out of this, break the ice. Do you know what does it mean? Uh, if you don't know the meaning, I have uploaded a short regarding this. You can just click on the link in the i button and you can just watch it. So these are some of the examples of uh, his new phrases that he have created for his plays. So uh, apart from this, he also Shakespeare also helped to further develop style and structure to an otherwise spontaneous language. Spontaneous means here is that there was no formal grammar, no formal regularization of how you could speak the English language, right? But after Shakespeare, it became to get that recognition as a formal language. He created many words that are common in British lexicon today, lexicon humans language. Some of them are aroused, accused, bloodstained, countless, critic, gloomy, laughable, submerged, tranquil, unrust, to name just a few. This is just a few of his words that we are using in our everyday conversation. But there are many words like this in each of the alphabets of the English language. So if you have an interest, you can just find it out. But these are just a few of the words that we use in our British lexicon today, which has already been firstly used by Shakespeare. So that's all we have for today's uh, video. I uh, hope you all like the video. And if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to share this video to your friends, to your dear ones, uh, in order to share the knowledge. And if you have not yet watched the other videos of my channel, you can just click on the link and you can uh, go through the playlist. There are three different types of playlists. You can go through them and you can watch the videos, whichever is, whichever you want to know about. That means uh, whichever you have to gain a knowledge about, right? So that's all we have for today. Hope to see you all in my next video. Thank you.